Lindsay from Lake Life Realty, and I'm here with Sarah from Canine Connection in Laconia. So thanks for having us. Yes, yeah, thanks for being here. Yes, of course. So tell me a little bit about you and your background and kind of what led you to open yeah. this facility. Yeah, well, so I actually have a background in biology, um, environmental science, so I actually work for the State Environmental Services Agency. Okay. Um, I volunteered um, right out of college with a couple of local SPCAs, mm -hmm. really got into the animal bug, um, dogs in particular, because I had been a cat person before that. Yep. So I adopted, my first, I. Puppy, <laughs> I adopted my first puppy from the SPCA, mm -hmm. and so um, focused on my dogs for about 10 years. Um, Stop volunteering, but never lost the itch and the love and the passion for animals and dogs. Okay. I um, had dogs for 20 plus years. And so when I got my most recent rescue, um, he was a challenge. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a wild child. They are. Um, yes. And so I sort of felt like we did all the training. I felt like I was just sort of this on the island of misfit toys with him. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a place or people that I could really connect with on that level of like, I just want to play with my dog in a safe place right. um, and have him feel safe and comfortable and then so important. You know, connect with other people. Um, and I think that dogs really do connect people and you can have a community around dogs. So yeah, that sort absolutely. Of spurred my idea of having a place to go that wasn't just a daycare, that we could go with our dogs. Yeah, this is really cool. I've never heard of yeah. this concept. So we obviously have dogs behind us. Yes and with their owners. Yes. So tell me about that concept and what kind of services you offer here and you know anything else you'd want people to know that you have to offer. Sure. Um, so really through my, my most recent dog, I really understood sort of that human canine connection and that connection that you can build. Mm -hmm. And so part of building that connection is having a place where you can regularly play with your dog and just interact and connect with them, train them, mm -hmm. um, even that's connecting. Um, so there are various ways in which you can connect with your dog um, and having a safe space to do that is great. Um, so we built a space where you can come with your dog. Um, you don't really leave them here. You come and you play with them. Yeah, you don't just drop um, them off. You don't just drop them off. That's a nice um, touch. Yep. And you you have multiple ways in which you can do that. So we have memberships. So you okay. could do monthly membership or annual membership. Mm -hmm. We offer play groups for size specific play groups for people who want, you know, maybe they have a small dog and they don't want them playing with a big dog. Um, so they can come into small small groups and medium groups and large groups. We have, um, what was I gonna say, we have walking groups. So we offer, you know, maybe your group play isn't the best uh, setting for your dog. Sure. And if that's true, then you can come join us on leash to a walking group. Okay. Um, so here we just walk the wow trail. So that's another great way to like, see things mm -hmm. be with without people, like them playing without them interacting directly yep. necessarily that yes, makes sense absolutely um, and then we offer fun events so mm -hmm. things that you can come either do with your dog you can bring your dog maybe you don't bring your dog we have breed meetups we're doing oh, a paint cool. your pet this saturday night so okay. um you can come that's without your dog but sure. um you know it's sort of that blend of maybe community center and dog park mm -hmm. Awesome. What, what you're going for. Yeah. Awesome. So say, you know, a dog comes in here and they're a little aggressive or mm -hmm. they need some training. Do you have specific partners that you work with in which you can refer them to or, you know, what does your referral partnership Absolutely. look like? Yeah, yeah. So um, when people register, we'll ask them, we'll send them a group play questionnaire and, you know, say, read through these questions do you think it's the best fit if not mm -hmm. you can consult with our partner dog on it training mm -hmm. um, so they're right in guilford so they'll do consultations for you um, and then sort of evaluate your dog to say okay well is group play really the best for sure. them or not yep um, if not that's great um, they offer training services they actually do training <coughs> tuesday evenings mm -hmm. um, they do a re reactive dog training class here um, so those are for those dogs with some big emotions that, yes. <laughs> you know, don't, don't necessarily want to be with other dogs. Yep, makes um, sense. We have private rentals. So in that case, with someone that might have an aggressive dog, they're welcome here. Mm -hmm. um, they can rent the space privately and have that own private okay, time to be able great. to provide that enrichment for their dog. Awesome. Yeah. Well, perfect. Um, is there anything else that you think we should know? This space is awesome. Thank you. Definitely be letting people know about it. Great, thank you. And, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's just a nice safe space um, for your dog and for you to connect with the community. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.